Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at your AlphaTech IQ Charger and Spy Cam, and in this video we're going to take a look at some basic setup procedures from working with the SD card, reading the SD card, changing the time and date via the text file, and how you can enable or disable that on your videos. Let's get right to it. When it comes to working with the SD card, there's a slot on the back side. You can easily insert it and remove it, slide it right in there. You can just use your fingernail to push it in and out. If you find that a little bit difficult for one reason or another, you can always use a ballpoint pen to put it in and out. When it comes to reading the SD card, these two components are included. These are optional if you're on an older iPhone that still uses the lightning adapters. You can find these online super easy and they're very cheap. This component right here is gonna be your SD card reader. Take your SD card, you'll slide it right into the very end, and then what you'll do is you'll take the adapter here on this very end and connect, and this will allow you to plug into anything or any phone that has a USB-C port. But as mentioned, if you're on an older phone with lightning cable adapters, we have this one, which is essentially the exact same thing as this, but just for iPhones with lightning cable adapters, like so, or we have one that is a direct SD card reader that goes directly into your phone via lightning cable. So let's get started, iPhone users. Once you get the SD card plugged in, we're gonna open up the app that says Files. This is a system app. It's built into every iPhone. It comes with the phone. Just click on this, and sometimes it automatically defaults to the iCloud drive right off of the bat. In the upper left-hand corner, you can just hit the Browse button, and it'll take you back to your different locations. So we have the No Name, which is actually the name of the SD card. You're gonna click on this, and luckily we only have a few folders to look at. So if you wanna review any videos that you've already recorded, you can click on this folder, and you can go through and watch and play them all directly from right here. If we click on this video right here, just for reference, you can see it plays. It's kind of me clunking around a little bit, but what I wanna call out is at the bottom left-hand corner here, you'll see the timestamp and the date. So it is in 24 hour time. It says it's currently 2359, which would be almost midnight. That's not correct. October 22nd of 2022. So we're actually going to go through and update that right now. And I'm going to show you how. So if we go back, you're going to see there's a file right here that says time. This is your time.txt file that contains all the information. If we click on this, it'll open up and the time and date are wrong. We're going to fix this right now. So we're going to open it up in a text editing app. So if you click the share button in the upper right hand corner, if you don't already have a text editing app, this one is free text editor. You can hit that and it's going to open it up. So we're going to change it. It is the 29th of November at 11 a.m. So we're going to go through and just back over some of this stuff. So we'll change the time first. Yeah, so we're gonna go over this. And remember, it is 24 hour time. So if it was 3 p.m. or something for you, that'd be 1500 hour. But we're gonna put in 11.01. And the date, yes, like I said, is 11, semicolon, 29 of 2023. And this Y here, there's a yes, no value. If it's yes, the timestamp will appear on your recordings. If you change it to N or no, there will be no timestamp on your recordings. It's really up to your preference. So now we're gonna share it. Upper left-hand corner, you hit file. Yes, we're gonna hit save as. Right now the name doesn't matter. In the upper right-hand corner, we need to share it because we're gonna save it back to the SD card. So we scroll down, we're gonna save to our files. Yes, which is gonna be no name if it wasn't selected. And right here, it's gonna be text.text .text will be saved to no name but the actual text name, we need the file name to be time.txt. So I'm gonna back over this, time, all you gotta type in, done. And now we're gonna hit save. It's gonna ask us if we wanna replace the other file we were just working on, yes. I hit replace and now we're done. So if we go back and we review the file that we just edited, which is right here, okay? If I click on it, it opens. Now you can see we have the new time, 1101, 1129 of 2023. So let's test that out on the video. All right, so we shot some video. Let's make sure everything's working. Back into the video tab. Okay, bottom right-hand corner here, if I click this video, yes, you can see if it plays. I'm moving, it's good, yes. And if we hit pause really quick, you can see bottom left-hand corner, 1101, 1129 of 2023. And then remember, we have that yes, no value. So if you change it to no, there will not be any timestamp on your video such as this. So it's completely clean no timestamps whatsoever. So hopefully that helps you better understand and set up your camera. As a small family owned business, all feedback that we get is invaluable. So if you could please leave a rating or review, a small act can make a big difference to the business.